Hey everyone, it's Heidi and welcome back to this week's episode of Baby Name Sunday. So for today's list, as you guys saw by the title, I'm going to be sharing Harry Potter inspired names. Now a lot of you guys have been requesting for this video but have been asking for more unique and uncommon names from this series. So I definitely dug deep and found some really cool hidden gems that are just absolutely amazing other than your typical names that you always hear like the Harry, Ron, and Hermione. They're still going to be usable but a little bit more uncommon. So if this is your very first time watching one of my videos, my name is Heidi and every single Sunday I upload a baby names list here on YouTube. Please go over to Instagram, go check me out. It's at baby Name Sunday. I'll have it right here but also down in the description. I post a ton of content on there and you guys will be able to see more of when I'll be uploading and more details like that. So please go give me a follow and please hit the subscribe button as well for here. So without further talking, oh my gosh, let's get into this Harry Potter inspired names list. Alrighty, yo, let's start off with the list. We're going to start off with kind of a sibling name here. So first one is a girl's name and that is the name Alecto, spelled A-L-E-C-T-O. This one's a Greek originated name meaning never ending. It sounds so magical to me. So she was actually a professor of muggle studies and is part of the Slytherin house. And then that brings me over to my next name which is her brother's name and that is the name Amicus. So A-M-Y-C-U-S. I definitely had to add this one in. I know it was on my video a couple videos ago, but I had to add it in because I'm just in love with it, especially for a Harry Potter themed name. This one is Latin originated, meaning a friend, and it's also a king in Greek mythology, which I really like. And as you guys go through this list, you'll start to realize that a lot of Harry Potter names are actually Greek inspired. Another cool fact about Amicus that it's a genius of spider, which I thought was kind of gives off that spooky vibe along with being in the Slytherin house and he was also a professor of the dark arts. Next one here, super sweet and kind of vintage. This is the name Percy, spelled P-E-R-C-Y. So this one is a French surname from a place in Normandy and it's actually one of the names of the sons in the Weasley family. So they are part of the Gryffindor house and Percy for a little boy, especially with it being more of a surname inspired name, very trendy right now and I feel like it just has those classic old-fashioned kind of ties and feels to it as well and then moving on to a gorgeous girl's name with a stunning meaning this is the name Parvati spelled p-a-r-v-a-t-i this one's a Sanskrit name meaning daughter of the mountains like so beyond beautiful for a meaning. She was part of the Gryffindor house and she played a role in a lot of the battles against Lord Voldemort. She's more of a subtle character, but absolutely love the name and the meaning behind it as well. Moving on to another boy's name on the list I have is the name Cedric, spelled C-E-D-R-I-C. Love again this name, it just sounds so handsome and very masculine. This one's Celtic originated, meaning reward. So I thought that maybe Cedric for a little rainbow baby boy would be so perfect. And Cedric was the Quidditch captain and also the seeker, and he was part of the Hufflepuff house. Next name on the list here is another boy's name, and this one begins with the letter E, very trendy. So this one's the name Elpheus, spelled E-L-P-H-I-A-S. I am so in love with this. Majority of Harry Potter inspired names, especially for boys, are so, so handsome. So this one's a German diminutive of Alphonse, meaning ready for battle and brave. So perfect for a little warrior, definitely all the way up as well. I feel like you can even Elpheus, like Elfie. Oh, there's so many sweet nicknames from this one. But he was in the Ministry of Magic as a jurist, and he was also a very close friend to Dumbledore. Moving on to a gorgeous, gorgeous flower name for a girl. This is the name Lavender, spelled L-A-V-E-N-D-E-R. This is probably one of my favorite floral girl names, like Lavender, I find it's just so beautiful and I'm a really big fan of purple. But again, this is a floral name symbolizing elegance and gracefulness. And Lavender was actually one of Ron Weasley's girlfriends at one point, short point, and she was part of the Gryffindor house. And then moving on to a 
really cool boy's name, I had to add this one, is the name Remus. Spelled R-E-M-U-S. I love these ones. You'll see a lot of S ending names in this list for boys. So this one's a Latin originated name meaning swiftness. And it was one of the twin names that founded Rome. So it has some history behind it as well, not just Harry Potter elements. And Remus was actually part werewolf, part human. And he was one of the professors of defense against the dark arts. He was also a part of Gryffindor house. And I did have to add in his last name. So his his last name for a name would be awesome as well. His name was Remus, but Lupin, spelled L-U-P-I-N. I was so, so drawn to this name, especially for the meaning, because it makes sense for his character. Lupin is Old French, meaning pertaining to the wolf. And then that brings me to our next name on the list here, which was Remus's wife. We have the name Nymphadora spelled N-Y-M-P-H-D-O-R-A. This one is Greek originated, meaning gift of the nymphs. And she was in Hufflepuff when she first attended Hogwarts. And she was also part of the Order of the Phoenix. And then the next name here I have is the name Alistair, spelled A-L-A-S-T-O-R. This one again is another Greek originated name, meaning Avenger. So he was a Scottish wizard and also a professor of defense against the dark arts. And then I added his last name to the list as well which is moody m-o-o-d-y so this one's a surname meaning courageous and i just loved the name moody i've actually seen it in a few netflix series as a name or even a nickname for a character that's what drew me to it and as soon as i saw it in the harry potter series i'm like okay this could be a name because i've seen it in so many series now next name here i have is another a name for a boy this one's definitely surname sounding love it it's the name Ab Aberforth, spelled A-B-E-R-F-O-R-T-H. So this one is Gaelic originated, meaning mouth of the river. So it is a nature themed name, and he was the owner of the Hogshead Inn. He was also part of the very first Order of the Phoenix. And that brings me to my next name here, which is the name Albus, spelled A-L-B-U-S. Honestly, if you are a diehard fan of Harry Potter, I can totally picture this for a little boy all the way up to a grown man. I mean, Albus is like a staple in the Harry Potter series. So Albus is a Latin originated name meaning white and bright, and he was the headmaster of Hogwarts. He is like ugh, the king. I loved him. Next name on the list here is a girl's name, and this is the name Lysandra spelled L-Y-S-A-N-D-R-A. -S Another more longer name on the list, but this one is Greek originated, meaning liberator. And she was a witch who was married into the House of Black family. I thought this one was a really great addition to the list because it could be an honorary name for a Sandra or even an Alexandra in your family. Now moving on to a more unisex name on the list. This is the name Florian, spelled F-L-O-R-E-A-N. This one's Latin originated, meaning Florian. Flowering. And this one has comes with a bunch of different nicknames. You can do Flor, Flora for a girl, but Florian for a boy does have that kind of cool wow factor to it. And he actually owned an ice cream parlor in the Harry Potter series. Now on to another more known character in the series, but an uncommon name. And this is the name Rubius, spelled R-U-B-E-U-S. Ah, oh, Rubius Hagrid, I love it. This is Latin originated, meaning red. So he was half human, half giant, and he was basically a professor, but also the keeper of the keys at Hogwarts. He was a part of Gryffindor House. He played a big role in the series, and he was just such a soft and gentle man, but he was huge, he was a giant, but I thought Rubius maybe a ruby even for a girl if you're wanting not to go all out rubius for a boy ruby for a girl next name here has a roman god inspiration behind it this is the name sylvanus spelled s-i-l-v-a-n-u-s so he was actually the roman god of forests so definitely a very earthy style name and he was part of the Hufflepuff house and he was the professor of care of magical creatures in the series. Oh, so sweet. I loved the name though maybe like an alternative name to like a Sylvan or Sullivan and then on to one of my favorite names on the list here. I've actually mentioned this a few videos ago but this is the name Ollivander. 
spelled O-L-L-I-V-A-N-D-E-R. If anybody loves those Ander endings, I've seen Evander, Xander, Alexander, but Ollivander, it's like a mixture of Oliver and Alexander together. So this is a surname inspired name, possibly meaning olive wand. I actually looked it up and that's what it was saying the meaning was, which I found really interesting, but it was the surname of the wand maker family in Harry Potter. So brings me over to another vintage girl's name on the list here. I have the name Pomona, spelled P-O-M-O-N-A. This one's a Latin originated meaning apple, super cool. And she was actually head of Hufflepuff House and the professor of herbology. Moving on to another one of my favorites. This one's more cutesy for a boy. We've gone through a lot of very powerful names. This one is powerful but sweet sounding. So this is the name Wilkie, spelled W-I-L-K-I-E. This one's a Scottish diminutive of William, meaning resolute protection. So this is a great example of a very soft sounding name with a very powerful meaning. And he was the professor of apparition. Next name here for the girl side, I love this. This is probably one of my favorite girls' name on the list. This is the name Calidora, spelled C-A-L-L-I-D-O-R-A. So beautiful. Another Dora and a name. We have Nymphadora and we have Calidora. So this one is one of Lysandra's daughters and it is a Greek originated name meaning gift of beauty, which the meaning is beautiful for this one again. And she was part of Slytherin House. On to a mythical creature name. I couldn't go through the list without naming one. So this is the name Fox, spelled F-A-W-K-E-S. So this one's a Norman French surname said to mean valley. And this one was Dumbledore's animal companion throughout the series, who was a male phoenix. So immortal bird that rose from its ashes. I love this one and it kind of holds near and dear to my heart because my daughter's middle name is Phoenix, so Fox. And it could be a really cool different spelling for the more trendy F-O-X Fox that has been a little bit up and coming. I'm not going to say fully, but kind of. <laughs> now next is another F name on the list here, and this is the name Fletchley, spelled F-L-E-T-C-H-L-E-Y. So this is like Fletcher, except super cute. Like it has this sweet, soft sounding Fletcher, Fletchley. Really liking this one. It's an English name meaning maker of arrows and it was a surname of Justin Flinch Fletchley. That is a tongue twister who was sorted into Hufflepuff. Now next name on the list here is the name Gilderoy, spelled G-I-L-D-E-R-O-Y. This one's Irish and Scottish, meaning the redhead. And he was actually a professor of defense against the dark arts and was part of Ravenclaw. And I had to add his last name onto the list here because if you're wanting something a little bit more medieval sounding, even for a middle name, or you want to go all out for a first name, this one is totally for you. So this is the name Lockhart, spelled L-O-C-K-H-A-R-T, and it's Germanic meaning strong lock. Now moving on to a more commonly heard name, but it is so overlooked. So we have the name Radcliffe spelled R-A-D-C-L-I-F-F-E. Who ever thought of this for a name? I feel like barely anybody did. And it's so overlooked. Everybody thinks of Harry or Harry Potter, but the actual actor of Harry Potter, his name is Daniel Radcliffe, but I thought Radcliffe for a boy's name? Like, that is just too cool. So it's Old English, meaning Red Cliff. For this one, I had to add it in. I mean, if you are a true Harry Potter fan, I feel like this one will be appreciated. <laughs> So I have a few more names left on the list here. I think I have three or four, but this one here I feel like is just such a gorgeous middle name for a girl and it could really work, especially with the trends that are going right now. So this is the name Lovegood, spelled L-O-V-E-G-O-O-D. This one's a surname directly meaning love is good. And for me, I thought Lovegood would be a really great idea for this list just because a lot of 
really interesting middle names have been coming about. If you guys haven't checked me over on Instagram, I have tons of really cool ones that I've been posting recently, but I've seen like, especially in the celebrity world, I've seen, you know, Starshine or Sweetheart or Sweetie. Lots of really interesting middle names for girls that just are so lovey-dovey and super cute. In Harry Potter, her character's name was Luna Lovegood. And I think that that is such a great example for how much fun you can have with a middle name. I'm actually gonna do a middle name video in the next upcoming weeks here. Just another one to give you guys some inspiration because I feel like a lot of parents have troubles with that middle name name choice. So second to last name on the list here I have, this one I feel is unisex, it can go for either way. This is the name Trelawney, spelled T-R-E-L-A-W-N-E-Y. So for this one, I was just thinking of all the amazing nicknames. You can do Trey for a boy, you can do Law, you can even do Lonnie for a girl and I thought that was just so so pretty and this one is a Cornish name meaning a person from a town with a church and they were a professor of divination at Hogwarts and was part of the Ravenclaw house so that one brings me to my very final name on the list here again Thank you guys so much for watching. Honestly, you guys don't know how much I appreciate you watching my videos. And I really hope this kind of inspired you both for first name, but also middle name ideas as well. I feel like there's a lot of really great middle name options or middle name inspiration and a lot of really different and bold first names, especially for a little baby born around this time or for a book character as well. I feel like this is just such a magical list. So last name on the list here I have is the name Bellatrix spelled B-E-L-L-A-T-R-I-X. I honestly couldn't go through this list without mentioning this name because I find it's just a stunning, gorgeously beautiful name. Like all of the words that you can think of, this I'm thinking in my thesaurus, we got them all for this name. Like Bella, Trixie, so sweet. It also is a really great play on like Beatrice for more of a vintage honorary name. So this one's a celestial name. It's a star in the constellation Orion, which my son Aries' middle name is Orion. So this one is also a near and dear to my heart. This one's a Latin originated name as well, meaning female warrior. So it has this power behind this woman, which is, I'm all about it. She was actually loyal to Lord Voldemort in the series, believe it or not, which if you guys don't know, that's kind of like, the bad guy, and she was part of the House of Black family and in Slytherin house. Sorry guys, Aries just woke up. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the list. Write down in the comments below what your guys' favorite Harry Potter inspired names are, maybe ones that I have missed, and also let me know what other video ideas you guys want to see for upcoming lists in the future. So stay safe, see you again next Sunday with another baby names list. Bye.